In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord be with you. Today the church remembers and celebrates the life of St. Mary Magdalene. Magdalene was a gospel figure who Jesus healed of possession. She was a devoted disciple, and she was present at the foot of the cross as Jesus died. And then she was also termed the Apostle to the Apostles. So again, a few moments of silence to prepare ourselves to be open to hearing God's word. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the fullness of everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. O God, whose only begotten Son entrusted Mary Magdalene before all others with announcing the great joy of the resurrection, Grant, we pray, that through her intercession and example, we may proclaim Christ, may proclaim the living Christ and come to see him reigning in your glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Song of Songs. The bride says, on my bed at night, I sought him whom my heart loves. I sought him, but I did not find him. I will rise then and go about the city. In the streets and crossings, I will seek him whom my heart loves. I sought him, but I did not find him. The watchman came upon me as they made their rounds of the city. Have you seen him whom my heart loves? I had hardly left them when I found him whom my heart loves. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, my soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, Lord, my my God. God. O God, you are my God whom I seek. For you my flesh pines and my soul thirsts like the earth, parched, lifeless, and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. Thus if I gaze toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory, for your kindness is a greater good than life, my lips shall glorify you. My soul is thirsting thirsting for for you, O Lord, Lord, my God. God. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied, and with exultant lips my mouth shall praise you. My soul soul is thirsting thirsting for for you, O Lord, Lord, my God. God. You are my help, and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. My soul clings fast to you. Your right hand upholds me. My soul is thirsting thirsting for for you, you, O Lord Lord, my my God.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple whom, the Je whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. Mary stayed outside the tomb weeping. As she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet, where the body of Jesus had been. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you crying? Whom are you looking for? She, she thought it was a gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. <clears throat> Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he told her. The Gospel of the Lord. As I said in the beginning, Mary Magdalene is uh, one of the prominent gospel figures because, first of all, she was cured. She was possessed, and Jesus healed her, and then she became a very devoted follower of him. And then uh, what really distinguished her was uh, the fact that she was at the cross, uh, standing at the foot of the cross when Jesus was being crucified. And where was everybody else? Hmm? except for John and, and the Mother Mary, but everybody else had split. So again, you can see the devotion that Mary Magdalene had to Jesus. And then uh, today's gospel, according to John, uh, really distinguishes her in that uh, and this is the reason she is called the Apostle to the Apostles, because Jesus sent her to announce to the disciples, to his apostles, that he, had, in fact, had risen from the dead. And, of course, she was, um, she was faithful in all of that. But in the gospel also, she fails to recognize him, and he is right there. Well, sometimes in our grief, we fail to recognize the fact that we have God with us, don't we? Yeah. And yet, uh, God is always present to us in one way or another. Sometimes it's in the form of perhaps an, a, 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 just a word of encouragement that someone gives to us. Sometimes it's in the, the uh, form of a, an individual who comes to comfort us. So uh, God is always with us, especially in our time of sorrow. So knowing that, we can all be apostles, not to the apostles, but to the world announcing that God is always with us. So together we bring our prayers to our merciful Father and ask him to hear our needs. For Pope Francis, Bishop Ed, and all the other bishops, especially Bishop Hubbard, all priests and deacons, may the Holy Spirit continue to sanctify and purify them in Christ's name. We pray to the Lord. For government leaders at all levels, may the Holy Spirit guide them in providing for the needs of their people. We pray to the Lord. 
For persecuted Christians throughout the world, may the Lord grant them safety and strength as they live their faith. We pray to the Lord. For those of us here who may be mourning or in despair, may the resurrection of Jesus give us consolation and hope. We pray to the Lord. For all who have died, may they join the resurrected Jesus in the eternal kingdom of heaven. We pray to the Lord. The needs we hold in our hearts. We remember all the living and deceased members of uh, St. Jude's Parish, and also we remember all of our seminarians and discerners who are, are on retreat at this time. For all of these, we pray to the Lord. God and Father of us all, hear these prayers from your family as we bring before you the needs of our brothers and sisters. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread and this wine which we offer. Through the earth, through the divine work of human hands, they will become for us our spiritual food and drink. Blessed be God. Now we pray that this our sacrifice will be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the offerings presented in commemoration of St. Mary Magdalene, whose homage of charity was graciously accepted by your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exultation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that, they, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread, giving you thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection 
you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, our Bishop Emeritus, and all who are in service to your kingdom. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of, your res of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy upon all of us, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, Blessed Apostles, St. Mary Magdalene, St. Jude, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. We trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. We ask that you look upon the faith of your church, not upon our sins. Graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the one who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
May the holy reception of your mysteries, Lord, instill in us that persevering love with which St. Mary Magdalene clung resolutely to Christ her Master, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our life. O oh, Saint Anne, you are my spiritual grandmother. Please pray for me. I come to you today asking that you give the love in my heart will grow continuously for our Lord. It's too easy for me to be lured and tempted by the things of this world and sometimes even by the things my heart desires most. I ask that you help me to remember that this world is my ship and not my home. We pray that I may keep my eyes focused on the Lord and on eternity in heaven. We pray for. But most of all, please pray that I will work. I will be able to in faith, hope, and trust the Lord's plan for me. O holy Saint Jude, great in virtue and rich in miracles, near kinsman of our Lord Jesus Christ, faithful intercessor of all who invoke special patronage in time of need, I have recourse from the depths of my heart, and God has given such great power to come to my assistance. Help me in my present and urgent petition. In turn, I promise to make your name known. Cause you to be invoked. I'll invoke your aid. Hope you have a good, safe day.